Hi, I'm Catherine Fresina. I'm the registrar here at the Rural Life Museum, and I'm standing in the medical section of our exhibit barn. Today, I'm going to be talking about medicine bottles and medicine content. As early as 1710, medicine bottles were imported from England. During a time when healthcare was less advanced, medicine bottles were in large supply. The design of the bottles varied greatly in color, shape, and size. While there was a large variation, the typical bottle shape of the mid-1800s was a rectangular shape. The thickness of medicine bottle glass was often thinner than soda bottles due to the lack of carbonation. Text and labeling on bottles ranged from raised text on the glass itself to printed labels. Bottle labels would list catchphrases to gain attention, thereby avoiding the need to list ingredients. Ingredients used were often not high quality and listing them would damage the credibility of the company. Bottle labels were printed with the company name and many bottles were faked by other competing companies. Some of the competing companies hired employees sharing the same name as larger companies in order to le legally print the name on their labels. Many early medicines were advertised as containing alcohol, narcotics, and herb, herb combinations that claimed to alleviate symptoms. In 1905, it was revealed that most medicines mainly consisted of alcohol. Many brands such, had such high alcohol content that they required a liquor license to sell. One example of this is Hadacol. Hadacol was marketed as a vitamin supplement, however, the product contained 12% alcohol. The product was created by Louisiana State Senator Dudley J. LeBlanc. LeBlanc was neither a physician nor a pharmacist. However, after receiving vitamin B for a pain in his foot, he decided to market his own version of the vitamin. Due to the high alcohol content, the product became popular in dry counties. Other medicine brands contained arsenic, opium, and morphine. In 1906, the Pure Food and Drug Act passed, requiring strict accountability for makers as far as contents of medicine and the advertised quality. The new law led to the demise of many drug industries, while surviving companies had to refine their product ingredients.